Hey everybody, I'm Amos, and this mysterious little piece of lap candy is the Ernie Ball Dark Ray. So what you're looking at is an Ernie Ball Stingray Special, but the preamp has been designed from the ground up by Dark Glass Electronics specifically for this base. And I have to tell you, this is kind of a big deal because in addition to a good sounding two band active EQ, there are two distinct Dark Glass drive circuits built right into the onboard preamp of this base. That's right, they crammed two distortion pedals into this. This is a Stingray body with Dark Glass brains, a wolf in a different but equally threatening wolf's clothing. Let's check it out. The Dark Ray is built on the platform of the Stingray Special, so it has all the upgrades that were a part of the 2018 overhaul. The roasted maple neck has an ebony fretboard on the front and a custom wax and oil rubbed finish on the back. The body is swamp ash and has the forearm cut, neck heel carve, and extra fret from the Special Series. The hardware has been redesigned to be lighter and more ergonomic and features lightweight tuners and bridge. The classic Ernie Ball humbucking pickup has the upgraded neodymium magnet and look at that, they're black. So that's where the Ernie Ball ends and the Dark Glass begins. Again, this preamp was designed by Dark Glass especially for this bass and it features a two band boost cut EQ and three distinct sounds. With the familiar Ernie Ball three way switch, you can choose a clean tone, the tight distortion of the alpha channel or the rowdy fuzz of the Omega. And if those names sound familiar to all the Dark Glass fans out there, yes, these are tones that have been lifted from Dark Glass's popular Alpha Omega series of pedals and amps. Master volume, bass and treble are in familiar locations and you control the drive of your selected circuit here and you can blend it with your clean signal here. And this flashy LED ring around the drive knob changes color depending on which channel you choose. Off for the clean channel, red for the distorted alpha, and blue for the fuzzy omega. This is kind of a big deal. There just aren't a lot of big companies putting effects right into the body of their bass guitar. So let's see how it sounds. So the two things that matter the most to me about any bass guitar that I pick up, even when it's pulling off a stunt like this, is does it feel good? Does it sound good? So you're just gonna have to kind of like reach through the internet and believe me that yes, it feels great. I'm a big fan of the Stingray Special. You can really feel the upgrades in places like the neck heel that helps you get to that extra fret just a little bit easier. I'm serious about these tuners, kids. They really do feel good. The whole thing just feels really well molded. It's a very finished feeling product. And I think it sounds good. I think if you're gonna start messing around with something as iconic as the Stingray, the first thing most folks are gonna wanna know is, does it still sound like a Stingray? So 
you've got all that classic Stingray tone. Fitting two distortion pedals into the body of the Stingray is more than a stunt. I think they make a lot of sense together. Full disclosure, the Alpha Omega line are some of my favorite dark glass products and both the fuzz and distortion feel like they work really well with the Stingray sound. There's such a punchy in-your-face quality to the Stingray and I feel like it loves just slamming into distortion and fuzz like this. It's fun. It should be fun. Even though the drive section only has two controls, between the drive and the blend and the two-band EQ, you can actually push the tones coming out of the dark ray in a lot of interesting directions. I find that even having the knobs physically closer to me up on the instrument sort of invites me to play around and fine-tune and mess with them a lot more, and I like that. Plus, it does this all by itself. <laughs> Of course, not everything has to be that in your face and extreme. And if you're the type of player who likes a little bit of grit and a little bit of drive on your sound all night, this might let you forego a pedal board entirely. This feels like a weapon, purpose built and balanced and ready to be handled and wielded and capable of a fair amount of damage. The Dark Ray is a really impressive collaboration between two companies with very unique voices that I think fit very, very well together. Ultimately, if something inspires you to play a little bit differently or explore some tonal places you might never have gone, that's just as impressive as the feats of engineering that have brought this thing to life. I've been Amos. This has been The Dark Ray. You have been amazing. See you soon.